Te vlogitos o teo Simon pando te nin ke aim ke estu se o nasto ne o no. Doxa se Christo teo silpi Simon doxa se vasile furani e paraklite to pnemeti salithia so pan nehu paron ke to panda pliron. O ti sa vros na gathon ke zuis horigos el the ke skino se min ke katharis o nimas po pasis kilidos ke so so naga thetas psicha Simon. Hai so theo sai si skiro sai so thant so dais nimas. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. I so theo, sai si skiro, sai so thanatos leis nimas. Dox o patrike, yoke yop nebati kininke, exons non armin, panagia trias leis nimas, ke lastus martyr simon, despotasi hosnatos mir simin, I epispse kiestetas nir simon, eni kintonomatosu kiria leisun, kiria leisun, kiria leisun. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, to the ages of ages, amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Save, O Lord, thy people, and bless thine inheritance. Grant unto the faithful victory over our adversaries. By the power of thy cross, do thou preserve thy commonwealth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Thou was raised up on the cross, and the will of Christ our God. Do thou bestow thy compassions upon this thy new commonwealth named after thee. Gladden with thy sovereign might our most orthodox hierarchs, and vouch safe in victory over every false teaching. As they help in war, in war may they possess the weapon of peace, the trophy invincible. Both now and ever, to ages of ages, amen. Our dread protection not be put to shame. They stay not a good one in our entreaties, all him theotokos. Make steadfast the commonwealth of the Orthodox. Protect those whom thou hast enjoined to rule over us, and grant them victory from on high. For thou hast given birth to God, only blessed one. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Glory to God in the highest on earth, peace, good will towards men. Glory to God in the highest on earth, peace, good will towards men. Glory to God in the highest on earth, peace, good will towards men. O Lord, thou shalt open my lips, must declare the praise. O Lord, thou shalt open my lips, must declare the praise. O Lord, why they multiply, they afflict me. Many rise up against me. Many say unto my soul, there's no salvation for him and his God. But thou, Lord, are my helper, my glory, and the lifter up of my head. I cry unto the Lord with my voice. He heard me out of his holy mountain. I laid me down and slept. I woke for the Lord will help me. Not be afraid of ten thousands of people that set themselves against me around about. Arise, Lord, save me, O my God, for thou hast smitten all without cause of mine enemies. The teeth of sinners are broken. Salvations of the Lord and thy blessings upon thy people. I laid me down and slept. I woke for the Lord will help me. O Lord, rebuke me not in thine anger, nor chase me in thy wrath, for thine arrows are fastened to me, and thou hast laid thy hand heavily upon me. There is no killing in my flesh in the face of thy wrath. There is no peace in my bones in the face of my sins. For my iniquities are risen higher than my head, as a heavy burn they have pressed heavily upon me. My bruises, bruises are become noisome and corrupt in the face of my folly. I have been wretched and utterly bowed down until the end, all the day long with downcast face. For my loins are filled with mockings, no killing in my flesh. I am afflicted and humbled exceedingly, I have roared from the groaning of my heart. O Lord, before thee is all my desire, my groaning is not hid from thee. My heart is trembled, my strength will fail me, the light of mine eyes, even this is not with me. My friends, my neighbors, drew nigh over against me, and still my nearest of kin stood afar off. And they that sought after my soul used violence, and they that sought evils from me spake vain things, and craftiness all day long did they meditate. But as for me, like a deaf man, I heard them not. I was a speechless man that opened not his mouth, and became as man that heareth not, and hath in his mouth no reproofs. For thee, I hope, O Lord, that will hearken to me, O Lord my God. For I said, Let never mine enemies rejoice over me. Yea, when my feet were shaken, those men spake boastful words against me. For I'm ready for scourges, my sorrows continually before me. For I will declare mine iniquity, or take heed concerning my sin. But mine enemies labor are made stronger than I, and they that hated me unjustly are multiplied. They that rear me evil for good slander me, because I pursued goodness. Forsake me not, O Lord my God, depart not from me. Be attentive to my help, O Lord of my salvation. Forsake me not, O Lord my God, depart not from me. Be attentive to my help, O Lord of my salvation. O God, my God, unto thee arise early at dawn, my soul thirsteth 
for thee, how often my flesh longed after thee, lamb, burned, and trodden, and unwatered. So in the sanctuary I appeared before thee to see thy power and thy glory. For thy mercy is better than lives, my lips shall praise thee. So shall I bless thee my life, and thy name will lift up my hands. As my mouth of fatness, my soul be filled, and lips of rejoicing shall my mouth praise thee. If I remember thee on my bed at the dawn, I meditate in thee, for I become my helper. And the shelter of will I rejoice. My soul hath cleaved after thee, and the right hand hath been quick to help me. For, for, thee, for these in vain have they sought after my soul. They should go into the most parts of the earth. They should be surrendered to the edge of the sword. Portions for flocks so shall they be. But the king should be glad in God. Everyone should be praised that sweareth by him. For the mouth of them is stopped to speak unjust things. At the dawn I meditate in thee, for I become my helper, and sheltering with thy wings will I rejoice. My soul hath cleaved after thee, the right hand of the quick to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, but now and ever to the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to your God. Alleluia, 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 glory to your God. Alleluia, 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 glory to your God. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, but now and ever to the ages of ages. Amen. O Lord, God of my salvation, by day I will cry, by night before thee. Let my prayer come before thee, bow down near unto my supplication. Fulfilled with thee is my soul, my life unto Hades hath drawn nigh. I am counted with them that go down to the pit, and become as man with the help, free among the dead, like the bodies slain, sleep in the grave, whom thou rememberest no more, and they are cut off from thy hand. They lay me in the lowest pit, in darkness and in shadow of death, and against me is thine anger made strong, and all thy bills as are brought upon me. That has moved my friends afar from me, and made me an abomination to themselves. I've been, uh, I've been delivered up, and not come forth. My eyes are grown weak from poverty. I have cried unto thee, O Lord, the whole day long. I have stretched out my hands unto thee. Nay, for the dead wilt thou work wonders, or shall physicians raise them up and give thanks unto thee. Nay, shall any in the grave tell thy mercy and the truth that destruction. Nay, shall thy wonders be known that darkness and the righteousness in the land that is forgotten. But as for me and thee, O Lord, if I cry in the morning, shall my prayer come before thee. Wherefore, O Lord, dost thou cast off my soul and turnest thy face away from me? A poor man of mine and troubles my youth, yea, having exalted, I was humble, brought to distress. Thy fears have passed upon me, the terrors will surely trouble me. They came around about me like water all day long, they cast me about together. Thou hast moved afar from me, friend and neighbor, and acquaintances because of my misery. O Lord, God of my salvation, by day of a crime, by night before thee, let my prayer come before thee, by thou near unto my supplication. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, forget all he hath done for thee, who is gracious unto all thine iniquities, who healed thine infirmities, who redeemed the life from corruption, who crowned thee mercy and compassion, who fulfilled thy desire with good things, that youth should be renewed as the eagles. The Lord performed deeds of mercy and executed judgment for all that were wrong. He hath made his ways known to Moses, to the sons of Israel, the things that he hath willed. Compassionate, merciful is the Lord, long suffering, and penitence, and mercy. Not unto the end we be angered, until the eternity be wroth. Not according to iniquities hath he dealt with us, neither according to our sins hath he rewarded us. For according to the height of heaven from the earth, the Lord hath made his mercy to prevail over them that fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far hath he removed our iniquities from us. Like the Father hath compassion upon the Son, so hath the Lord compassion upon them that fear him. For he knoweth where we are made, he hath remembered the red dust. As for man, his days as the grass, as the flower of the field, so she blossom forth. For the wind is passed over, and it shall be gone, no longer know the place thereof. But the mercy of the Lord is from eternity to eternity upon them that fear him. His righteousness upon the sons of sons, upon them that keep his testament and remember his commandments to do them. For the Lord in heaven hath prepared his throne, and his kingdom ruleth over all. Bless the Lord, bless the Lord all ye his angels, mind and strength to perform the voice of his word. To hear the voice of his words. Bless the Lord ye his hosts and ministers to do his will. Bless the Lord ye his works in every place of his dominion. Bless the Lord of my soul. In every place of his dominion, bless the Lord of my soul. O Lord, hear my prayer, give unto my supplication, the truth, hearken to me, the righteousness, and enter not in judgment thy servant, lest such no man living be justified. For the enemy hath pressed my soul, he hath humbled laughter into the earth, he sat me dark to his soul, have been long dead, and my spirit within me is despondent, within me are harsh troubled. My every days of old, the meditating of the works upon the creation of thy hands. I stretch forth my hands unto thee, my soul thirsteth after thee like waters land. Quickly hear me, O Lord, my spirit fainted away. Turn not the face away from me, lest be, lest be like them that go down to the pit. Cause me to hear thy mercy in the morning for thee, put my hope. Cause me to know, Lord, the way which walk from thee, have I lifted up my soul. Rescue me from my enemies, Lord, the evil flood's refuge. Teach me to thy will, thought my God, that good spirits lead me in the land of her brightness. For thy name's sake, O Lord, shalt thou quicken me, and thy righteousness shalt thou bring my soul affliction, and thy mercy shalt thou utterly destroy my enemies. I shall cut off all those that afflict my soul from thy servant. Hearken to me, Lord, in righteousness, and in our judgment, my servant. Hearken to me, Lord, in righteousness, and in our judgment, my servant. The good spirit shall lead me in the land of her brightness. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, but now and ever to the age of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to your God. Alleluia, 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 glory to your God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God, our hope, O Lord, glory be to thee. 
All the nations come to me round about the name, Lord, I water them off. God is the Lord and hath appeared unto us. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Para kiriu yena to aftike sti thab mastino thamisimon. Theos kiriuos ke pefanen imin. Evlo imenos o erhomenos anonomati kiriu. Eis pasantin yin exith and of thongosu. Os examenin ton logon su. Leu theo prepos e dogmatisos, tin fys in ton non non etranosas, ta ton antroponitika te kosmisas vasileon i eratevma, paterosi e Christon ton theoni keteve, dorisas te min ton mega eleon. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Your proclamation went forth into all the earth, for it accepted your word, through which you taught the dog must be fitting God. You expounded on the nature of all that it is, and you arranged the morals of society, a royal priesthood. Devout Father Basil, intercede with Christ our God, Grant us his great mercy. Both now and ever the ages of ages, amen. Mm -hmm. our, human has, uh, our human form has now taken on thyself without change. Oh. O greatly compassionate master, though being God by nature oh. and fulfilling the law, thou willingly receives a circumcision in the flesh. Let the might ascend the shadow and roll away the veil of our sinful passions. Glory be to thy goodness unto us. Glory be to thy compassion. Glory, O word, to thine inexpressible condescension. Oh. 
Έτσι και την δίνει τη κυρίου δε ηθόμε. Κύριε Λέισο, αντιλαβού όσου να λέει στην διαφύλαξη, είμαστε ω τη συγχαρητή. Κύριε Λέισο, τη Παναγία Ακράντου, υπερευλογημένη εν δόξου δε σπινίσιμο εν τέο τόκου και πατέρα Μαρία με τα πάντα να γιον μη μονεύσαντε. Ε αυτού και αλληλού και πάσαν την ζωή νημών. Χριστό το Θεό παραθόμεθα. Σύ κύριε, ότι σον το κράτο και σου στην βασιλεία και την εμεί και η δόξα. Πατρός και του Ιού και του Αγίου Πνεύματος νυν και αήμ και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων. Αμήν του Κύριου, ως βασίλειον κόσμο της Εκκλησίας Χριστού, τον βασίλειον πάντες ανηφημίσωμεν, τον δόγματον της αυρών των ανεκλυπτών, Δια του τον γαραφτός εξεπαίδευσεν νήμας, τι άδας ευηναγίαν, εινωμένην μεν τη ουσία, διαιρέθην δε τις υποστάσεις. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, O Basil, just and wise, by the Trinity standing, entreat that we who now sing your hymns and who honor your sacred memorial may be given on judgment day mercy grace divine and of offenses forgiveness so that we might sing with mouth and heart praise and glory mm. To him who loves humanity. Both now and ever to the ages of ages, amen. The master of the world and creator of all things. The one who is on high with the Father and the Spirit. On earth has been circumcised as an infant just eight days old. Lord divine indeed are all your works and amazing. You were circumcised on our behalf, loving Master, the fulfillment of the Mosaic law. Mm -hmm. Having drawn out the mystical wealth of God's inexpressible wisdom, as, as from you as well you stored up the waters of orthodoxy for everyone, Gladdening the hearts of the faithful with godly joy, appropriately drowning the dogmas of heretics. Therefore, by your labels for the truth, you became an invincible champion of the Holy Trinity. Holy Basil the High, your ark, intercede with Christ our God that he grant forgiveness of offenses mm. to those observing your longing, your holy memorial. Lux a patrike yoki o pneumati, tisari tu sofias te oprepos, ex antlisas ton pluton ton mystikon, paos in lithavrisas orthodoxios ta namata, τον μεν πίστον σας καρδία σαν θέον εν φρενοντά, τον δε απίστον τα δόγματα αξίως βυθίζοντά, όθεν διαμ φωτέρον ευσεβίας ιδρώσιν, εδείχθης αίτητος της τριάδος υπέρμαχος, ιεράρχα βασιλεία, πρέσβευε Χριστό τον Θεό, τον πτεσμό τον άφεσιν δωρήσαστε, Τι σε ορτάζω συμπόθω την Αγία Μνήμην Σου. Both now and ever and to the ages of ages, Amen. In your great benevolence, which is unbounded, you, O Lord, put on the form of us, your servants and your slaves, and you were circumscribed in the flesh, and thus you granted great mercy to all mankind. Τις γαυρώτης το πνεύμα Θεόν ανεκήρυξας, 
que é tão quiro de cosi, é cruz, é só nosso sós, passa na criança, se vê leio lá treinando, que é ponta pro nimata, na história o que tem guisas, e é arca vacileia. Prezveve Kristo të këtejo, të më të zmoto në fesin do risaste. Kise o të azu si poto, ti në gji amni minësu. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now the grace of your words which derive from God, and the mystical height and sublimity of dogmas became for us a ladder, of divine ascent. For when you had acquired a spiritual trumpet, on it you, O Father, proclaimed divine doctrines. Therefore you are dwelling in a place of green pasture. O Holy One, and receive the rewards for your labors, O Saint Basil. The hierarch intercede with Christ our God that he grant forgiveness of offenses to those observing with longing your holy memorial. Both now and ever the ages of ages, amen, the creator and master of all the world, who took flesh from your all pure and holy womb, Made you the all blameless maid, the protectress of humanity. For this reason we all faithful now have recourse to you. And we ask you, O Lady, to be forgiven of our offenses and to be delivered from eternal perdition and every adversity of the prince of the world. And we therefore cry out to you, intercede your Son and our God, that he grant forgiveness of offenses, who piously worship the only holy child you bore. Ekneotitos mu pola polemi me pathi, alaftos andi lavu, from my youth, many passions wage war against me. O oh, my Savior, for I implore you, uphold and save me. Mm. You who hate Zion, shall be shamed by the Lord, for you will be withered like grass in the fire. Lux of patri ke yo ke ayi yo pnevmati, ayi yo pnevmati, ayi yo pnevmati, fasa psihi zote, ke katharsi psute lambrinete, ti tri adiki monadi, iero krifios. Both now and ever, and to the ages of ages, amen. From the Holy Spirit the streams of grace well forth. They water all creation, so that life be engendered. Hear that all you nations give ear, all you inhabitants of the world. My mouth shall speak wisdom and the meditation of my heart understanding. Let us pray to the Lord. For you are holy, our God, who rests among the saints, and to you we give glory to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Let everything that breathes praise the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord our God that we may be deemed worthy to hear the Holy Gospel. Wisdom arise, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be with all. And with your 
your spirit. The reading is taken from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Let us be attentive. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. At that time, The Lord said that the Jews who had come to him, truly, truly, I say to you, he who does not enter the sheepfold by the door but climbs in by another way, that man is a thief and a robber. But he who enters by the door is the shepherd of the sheep. To him the gatekeeper opens, the sheep hear his voice, and he calls his own sheep by name and leads them out. When he has brought out all his own, he goes before them, and the sheep follow him, for they know his voice. A stranger they will not follow, but they will flee from him, for they do not know the voice of strangers. This figure Jesus used with them, but they did not understand what he was saying to them. So Jesus said to them, Truly, truly, I say to you, I am the door of the sheep. All who came before me are thieves and robbers, but I, the sheep did not heed them. I am the door, and if anyone enters by me, he will be saved and will go in and out and find pasture. Glory to you, Lord. Glory be to you. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your great mercy and according to the abundance of your compassion. Blot out my compassion, lawlessness, and cleanse me from my sin. For I know my lawlessness, and my sin is always before me. Against you only have I sinned and done evil in your sight, that you may be justified in your words and overcome when you are judged. For behold, I was conceived in transgressions, and in sins my mother bore me. Behold, you love truth. You showed me the unknown and secret things of your wisdom. You shall sprinkle me with hyssop, and I will be cleansed. You shall wash me, and I will be made whiter than snow. You shall make me hear joy and gladness. My bones that were humbled shall greatly rejoice. Turn your face from my sins and blot out all my transgressions. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence and do not take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation and uphold me with your guiding spirit. I will teach transgressors your ways, and the ungodly shall turn back to you. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, the God of my salvation, and my tongue shall greatly rejoice in your righteousness. O Lord, you shall open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. For if you desired sacrifice, I would give it. You will not be pleased with whole burnt offerings. A sacrifice to God is a broken spirit, a broken and a humbled heart God will not despise. Do good, O Lord, in your good pleasure to Zion, and let the walls of Jerusalem be built. Then you will be pleased with the sacrifice of righteousness, with offerings and whole burnt offerings. Then they shall offer young bulls on your altar. <laughs> Ex alibs on the plate, on the morning, climaton. Both now and ever, and to the ages of ages, amen. At the intercession of the Theotokos, O Lord of mercy, blood of my many offenses. Have mercy on me, O God, according to the great mercy, credible to the compassions, blood of my transgression. Grace was poured forth on thy lips, O righteous Father Basil, and thou, and thou becamest a shepherd of the Church of Christ, teaching and teaching the rational flock to believe 
in the consubstantial Trinity, in one God. O oh God, save your people and bless your inheritance. Look upon your world with mercy and compassion. Raise your Orthodox Christians in glory and send down upon us your abundant mercy. Through the intercession of the most pure lady that they ought to walk us, never Virgin Mary, the power of the precious and life-giving cross, the protection of the honorable heavenly bodiless powers, the supplications of the honorable glorious prophet and forerunner John the Baptist, the holy, glorious, and praiseworthy apostles, our fathers among the saints, the great hierarchs and ecumenical teachers, Basil the Great, Gregory the Theologian, and John Chrysostom, Athanasius and Cyril, John the Merciful Patriarch of Alexandria, Nicholas Bishop of Mida, Speedy Don Bishop of Trimithus, Nectarius of Metopolis, the Wonder Workers, the Holy Glorious Great Martyrs, George the Victorious, Demetrius the Middle Theodore, Theodon, Theodos, Tratilatis, Minas the Wonder Worker, Haralambos and Lefterios, the Holy Priest Martyrs, the Holy Glorious Victorious Martyrs, the Holy Glorious Martyr, and the Great. O laudable Ephthemia, the holy, glorious martyrs, Thecla, Barbara, Anastasia, Catherine, Kiriaki, Fortini, Marina, Baraskivi, and Irene, of our venerable and God-bearing fathers, the holy, righteous answers of God, Joachim and Anna, of our father among the saints, Basil the Great, Archbishop of Caesarea in Cappadocia, whose memory we keep today, and of all your saints, we beseech you, the only most merciful Lord. Listen to us, sinners who pray to you, and have mercy upon us. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Through the mercy and compassion passion and love for mankind of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all holy, good, and life-giving Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Honoring her with hymns, let us magnify the Theotokos, the mother of the light, in Theotokon, Kimidetophotos, and Hymnis Timontes Megalinomen. Christo anekalit se pitmena, ke via rakski useklei, enna soka taglit sa santi palu, sokrateos polemis kirios oti de doxasten. Israel treaded on the swelling of the billow, which had been rendered once again into dry land. Then the dark waters concealed the Egyptian riders together as a tomb laid in water by the mighty strength of the right hand of the Master. The Lord who grant us strength unto our kings and is exalted the horn of his anointed is born of a virgin and cometh unto baptism. Wherefore let us cry out, O ye faithful, there is none holy as our God, and there is none righteous save thee, O Lord. All that are, re all that are rescued of the ancient Meshes of the devouring lions whose teeth are broken. Let us rejoice now, opening our mouths in gladness, weaving of our words of a melody for the word, whose delight it is to bestow gifts upon us. When you thundered on the many waters, O Lord, unto your Son thus bearing witness, then he whom you once designated as the voice of the one who cries out in the desert heard your voice, and filled with the Spirit their present, he cried aloud and said, You are the Christ, the wisdom and the power of God. And with the torchlight and the fire of mystic vision, and the prophet singeth hymns of the mortal's renewal, 
His voice he raiseth, which is moved by the Spirit, sowing the unutterable words incarnation, who hath wholly crushed the dominion of the mighty. He is Jesus, the author of life. He has come to loose the condemnation of the first created Adam, being God, and thus not needing to be purified. In the Jordan he purifies the one who had fallen. He put to death the enmity, and therefore he grants the peace that passes all understanding. Watch with the cleansing and labor of the spirit from all the poison of the mind, murky foeman. Mm -hmm. We have been set on a path new and unerring, mm -hmm. leading to inaccessible joy and gladness, mm -hmm. found by them alone with whom God is reconciled. The voice of the Lord goes, the lantern of the light, the morning star that precedes the sun, the forerunner in the desert, crying to all the peoples, repent and beforehand purify yourselves. Behold, among us is the Christ who out of corruption redeems the world. With voice most blissful, and the Father made known clearly his beloved, whom from the womb he had brought forth. Yea, he saith, while he is my child of my nature, he sprang from, from mankind, being beaming bright with splendor, both my living word and by a providence immortal. When the pious youths were thrown in the, in the furnace, all aflame with fire, the angel of the Lord went with them and drove out the fiery flame, and moist whistling wind preserved them, free of harm, being thus refreshed in the flames. They gave glory, singing in gratitude, O supremely praised and most exalted Lord and God of the fathers, you are blessed. The heads of the dragons were burned within the river by him that lulled up the upright flame of the furnace which had encompassed the right religious children. He doth wash away the dew of the Spirit, mm -hmm. all the forward gloom that sinning doth engender. We praise and we bless and we worship the Lord. The furnace once in Babylon displayed a paradoxal mystery by pouring out moisture that the Jordan was to receive in its streams the immaterial fire and hold the Creator when he was being baptized. Him, him, him do all the peoples all bless and exalt supremely unto the ages. Now is creation restored again to freedom. They are the sons of light who before in darkness mm. only he groaneth who is the prince of darkness? Let the once wretched heritage of the nations early, earnestly not bless the author of their blessing. Itum pro ilio fostira tonte onexa natilanda, somatico si min epidemisanda, ec lago non partenicon nafrasto somatosasa, evlo y meni panagna, se theota que megalino men. O my soul, magnify the Lord, who according to the law receives circumcision, lady from your. Mm, lady from your virgin, O belly, you ineffably embodied God, the luminary who arose before the sun, and the one who came down to us and dwelt among us bodily, O blessed and all holy one, you, O Theotokos, do we magnify. <laughs> Itum pro 
Υπέρ βάστου όρου Χριστό, τη ανθρώπινη όλη. Φυσαίω η πυφαίω εκ παρθένου αποκτήτε. Και το γράμμα των νομικών καθώ τη εκείλευτε. Την σάκα περιτμένη και πληρωτή του νόμου δείχνητε. Today the master was circumcised in the flesh and he was called Jesus. Come, let us with holiness celebrate the glorious festivities as we observe the name day of the Master Christ. For he is named Jesus today in a manner befitting God. And also let us magnify the memorial of the hierarch. Megalinum psychimu ton hierarches, Vasilion ton megan. Τον αρχιπομένο ω πρόβα των Χριστού Χριστού Βασιλιά, τον ζωή φόρο ήχνε στην επικολούθη σα. Τον τυράνων γάν την στρατού, ψυχήν πατέρ προ δέδοκα. Προκίν την εύων άριστον τη εκκλησία παπα μακάριστε. Ω my soul, magnify one great among the hierarchs, our father Basil. When that most Pernicuous of tyrants saw the sacred body of the church of Christ to be adorned and put in order by your episcopacy. By your episcopacy, O Basil, he was thunderstruck and fell, for he could not endure the bright light of the spirit that abode in you. Lux a patrice io che io pnevati megale non psichi mo trisi posto tato che idero tu theoti tosto kratos tis tu na posto non cathedras tis chorias te na floforon Christu patriarchon skinis kenton diki on trifis tis chorias te profofiton profiton αξιώθης βασιλεία της Θεοτόκου μυστής καρ και στη τριάδος λατρής γεγονάς. Both now and ever and to the ages of ages, amen. O my soul, magnify the ever virgin maid who from the curse has redeemed us. He who covers his upper chambers with the waters as the only Lord And who restrains the sea and caused the deep abyss to become dry, and who assumed the flesh from you, O virgin pure, goes urgently from Bethlehem to Jordan to be baptized in the flesh. Megalinum psychimu tintimioter anton anostratevmaton apori pasa glossa efimin prosaxian. In Iga de Nunus, Caper Cosmio, Simnins, a Theotoke, Omos Agathi, Iparcos at in Pistin de Hu, Kegarton Pothronidas, Ton and Theonimon, Sigar Histoyanon, Ipostatis and Megalinome. O my soul, magnify the ever virgin maid who from the curse has redeemed us. O all spotless bride, surpassing comprehension are the wonders of your childbirth, blessed mother. Through you obtaining comprehensive salvation, we bring you a gift in striking up this worthy hymn of gratitude to you, our benefactress. Philosophia seroti, eriete me spate, tostis psychis kalima, ke to cosmo erdictis, osilios tis thavmasi, ke piston katigisas, tas dianias teofron, tis triados naratris, o vasilie sofe, the fulfiller of his own law, the creator of the ages, 
is circumcised in the flesh. As an eight, as an eight day old infant, and he is wrapped in swaddling clothes, as a mortal and he is nursed on milk even while maintaining in his infinite power the entire world as God, who by his act orders all things. Praise him with the sound of trumpet, praise him with the harp and the lyre. As an adopted son of God, being reborn by holy baptism, you confess that he who in truth and nature before the age is the Son and Logos of God is unoriginate, along with the Father and coessential, O Holy One, and with the brilliance of your words and your treatises, you have stopped the unbridled mouths of the heretics, Therefore your residence is in the palaces there on high. You reign together with Christ, who, al who alone naturally rules as king, obeys all and treats him, who abundantly distributes great mercy to the world. <laughs> And on a pura new now, O Sierra Cresieros, Prosecorisas, in Praxin Ketheorian, Tasti Sophia Sarcas, O Stolin Nayi and Pericimenos, Kenin is to ano, Tisasterio no Sia, Iera Tevon, Ketheo Paristamenos. Getting nylon, liturgy and the luminous. Memniso sympathes that the Pama car vasilia, don't neck the loon, don't him name in Tinieran to keep on the moon, his tonic at Evon, Toparecunde tocos, Motomega Eleos. Praise him with resounding symbols, praise him with triumphant symbols, let everything that breathes praise the Lord. 
totally consecrated to God. Were you from childhood and devoted in every way, the light of transcending wisdom illuminating your soul. You made clear the knowledge of all that exists, explaining explicitly and relating sagaciously the balanced order of creation and made this an occasion for more divine knowledge, O Holy One. Therefore we loudly do proclaim that you speak the words of God as a divine sacred teacher and as the church's bright shining star. And thus we extol Christ who abundantly distributes great mercy to the world. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Rest was poured forth on the lips, O righteous Father, praise O and the becomest a shepherd of the church of Christ, teaching the rational flock to believe in the consubstantial trinity in one God. Both now and ever, and to the ages of ages, Amen. In condescending to the race of humanity, the Savior consented to be wrapped in swaddling clothes. And he did not abominate the circumcision of the flesh when he was eight days old as regards his mother while as regards his father on origin to him o faithful let us cry aloud you are our god have mercy on us. Lux a sita dixandito fos, Lux a nipsis tis teo, Kepigis irini, En antropis evdokian. We praise you, we bless you, We worship you, we glorify you, We give thanks to you for your great glory. O Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, who take away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us. 
you who take away the sins of the world. Prospect in the Eastern Mount, O Cothimanos, like the Xion to Patros, Galois on the Mount. For you alone are holy, you alone are Lord Jesus Christ, to the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us God say, O Lord, this day that we may be kept without sin. Let your mercy be upon us, O Lord, as we have set our hope on you. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. O Lord, you have been our refuge from generation to generation. I said, Lord, have mercy on me. Heal my soul, for I have sinned against you. Kyrie prosekate figon didaxon me tu pinto thelemasu otisi o theosmu. For with you is the fountain of life, in your light we shall see light. Paratin non to eleosu. Mm. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Since being God, most compassionate Master, you assumed human nature without transmutation, fulfilling the law of your own will, you accepted circumcision in the flesh to bring an end to the shadow and to remove the passions that cover us. Glory to your benevolence, O Lord. Glory to your compassion. Glory to your inexpressible condescension, O Word. Blessed is the kingdom of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Eblogimeni vasilia tu patros, ke tu iu, ke tu aiu pneumatos, nin ke ai keis tu seonas to neonos. Eni dini tu kiriu de ithomen. For the peace of God and the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. For peace in the whole world, for the stability of the holy churches of God, and for the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. 
For this holy house and for those who are in it with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. For our Archbishop Gerasimus, the honorable presbyters, the deacons in the service of Christ, for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. For our country, the president, and all those in public service, let us pray to the Lord. For this parish and city, for every city and land, and for the faithful who live in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For favorable weather and abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for temperate seasons, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For travelers by land, sea, and air, for the sick, the suffering, the captives, and for their safety and salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our deliverance from affliction, wrath, danger, and distress, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Remembering our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, never Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another, and then our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. For to you belong all glory, honor, and worship to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Shout to God, all the earth. Estres pies tis teotokus soter sos unimas. Sing now to his name. Tres pies tis tis teotokus soter sos unimas. Describe all his wonderful works. Tres pies tis tis teotokus soter sos unimas. I pateto theos. Poverata erga su, tes presvies tis teotoku soter sos onima. Doxa patrike yoki op nevmati ken inkeksans nonon amin, tes presvies tis teotoku soter sos onima. Etiketi nirinit kiriu de ithome, andilavu sos on eleisung dia filaks onima steos tis ikhariti. Τη Παναγία Αχράντου, υπερευλογημένη εν δόξου τη πίση Μοντέο, το όπου και υπάρχει το νουμαρία, με τα πάντων των αιών μήμων εύσαντε σε αυτού και αλληλού και πάσαν την ζωή νημών. Χρήστο το Θεό, παραθόμεθα. Ότι σών το κράτο και σου στην βασιλεία και την μη και η δόξα του πατρό και του ιού και του αγίου πνεύματο νυν και αίμ. Και στου αιώνα των αιώνων. Αμήν, O Lord, I will sing of your mercies forever. Save us, O Son of God, who was circumscribed in the flesh. We sing to you, Alleluia. O sing a new song to the Lord, sing to the Lord all the earth. Save us, O Son of God, who were circumcised in the flesh. We sing to you, Alleluia. From Zion in beauty, splendor, save us, O Son of God, who were circumscribed in the flesh. We sing to you, Alleluia. O Theos, I mean, and to run on the Pitigi Panda, was I Thelis and Epice, so Sunday Massi, Ethel, O Sarki Perit, Mithis, Psalon Dasi, Alleluia. Dox and Patrick, O Kiop Nevmati, Keninke, I case to say, O Nastone, O Non Amin. O mono genisios ke logos tu theu athanatos iparhon, ke kata dexamenos dia tin imeteran sotirian. Sarkothine ektis aias theotoku, 
Ke ai parthenu Maria sa treptos en anthropisas, stavrothiste Christe o Theos, thanato, thanato patisas. I son tis aias triados, sin doxas zomenos to patri, ke to aii opnevmati, So son In peace, let us again pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Remembering our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theodokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another in our whole life to Christ our God. For you are a good and loving God, and to you we give glory to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. 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 Morfin nana liotis antropin in proselaves, teos un catusion, polies plak nekirie, ke nomo nekliron perito min telisi catedekis archikin, opos pafsis taski odi, ke perielis to cali mantan pathon imon, toxati agathoti titisi, doxati as plakniasu, Looks at the end, neck frost to log as in Catavasi. So, Sophia Orthi Vefte proskini so men, te prospev so men, Christo. Save us, O Son of God, who was circumcised in the flesh. We sing to you, Alleluia. So, O Sarki Peritimithis, Psalon Dasi, Alleluia. In essence, being God, most compassionate Master, you assumed human nature without transmutation, fulfilling the law of your own will. You accepted circumcision in the flesh to bring an end to the shadow and to remove the passions that cover us. Glory to your benevolence, O Lord. Glory to your compassion. Glory to your inexpressible condescension, O Word. Os examen in ton logon so, Teu Theo prepose dogmatisas, Tid fis in ton ondon et tranosas, Taton antroponitica te cosmisas vasilioni eratevma, Paterosi e Christon ton Theoniceteve, Dorisas te min ton mega eleos. Evlogito si Christe o Theo Simon, o Pansofus tu salis anadixas, kata pemsas aftis to pnevma to aion, ke di afton tinikumen in saginevsas filantropedoxasi. As the Master over all has undergone circumcision, so he cuts away the sins of humankind in his goodness. On this day, upon the world he bestows salvation, and on high, 
Does the Creator's hierarch Bezo now rejoices for he is known as a most divine and light-bearing mystic of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. For you are holy, our God, and in you we give glory to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. be attentive. My mouth shall speak wisdom and the meditation of my heart understanding. Hear this, all you nations, give ear, all you inhabitants of the world. Wisdom. The reading is from Paul's letter to the Colossians. Let us be attentive. Brethren, see to it that no one makes a prey of you by philosophy and empty deceit, according to human tradition, according to the elemental spirits of the universe and not according to Christ. For in him, the whole fullness of deity dwells bodily, and you have come to fullness of life in him, who is the head of all rule and authority. In him also you were circumcised with a circumcision made without hands by putting off the body of flesh in the circumcision of Christ. And you were buried with him in baptism, in which you were also raised with him through the faith in the working of God, who raised him from the dead. Peace be with you, the reader. Give heed to you, shepherd Israel, who leads Joseph like a flock. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia. Wisdom arise, let us hear the Holy Gospel 
peace be with all. The reading is taken from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Let us be attentive. At that time, the shepherds returned glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen as it had been told them. And at the end of eight days, when he was circumcised, he was called Jesus, the name given by the angel before he was conceived in the womb. And the child grew and became strong, filled with wisdom, and the favor of God was upon him. Now his parents went to Jerusalem every year at the feast of the Passover. And when he was 12 years old, they went up according to custom. And when the feast was ended, as they were returning, the boy Jesus stayed behind in Jerusalem. His parents did not know it. But supposing him to be in the company, they went a day's journey, and they sought him among their kinsfolk and acquaintances. And when they did not find him, they returned to Jerusalem, seeking him. After three days, they found him in the temple, sitting among the teachers, listening to them and asking them questions. And all who heard him were amazed at his understanding and his answers. And when they saw him, they were astonished. And his mother said to him, Son, why have you treated us so? Behold, your father and I have been looking for you anxiously. And he said to them, How is it that you sought me? Did you not know that I must be in my father's house? And they did not understand the saying which he spoke to them. And he went down with them and came to Nazareth and was obedient to them and his mother and kept all the things in her heart. And Jesus increased in wisdom and in stature and in favor with God and man, amen. And grant that always guarded by your power may give glory to you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Take 
ο Θεός εν τη βασιλεία αυτού πάντοτε νυν και αήμ και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων May the Lord our God remember us all in his kingdom always now and forever and the ages of ages Σουμεν την νέη στην ημών το Κυρίο. Κύριε ελέησον. For the precious gifts offered and here presented, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy house and for those who are with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our deliverance from affliction, wrath, danger, and distress, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. For a perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless day, let us ask the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. For an angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. For forgiveness, remission of our sins and transgressions, let us ask the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. For all that is good and beneficial to our souls and for peace in the world, let us ask the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. For the completion of our lives in peace and repentance, let us ask the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. For a Christian end to our lives, peaceful without shame and suffering, and for a good account before the awesome judgment seat of Christ, Let us ask the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. Remembering our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theodokos, never Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. Through the mercies of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all holy, good, and life giving spirit now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Peace be with all. And with your spirit. Let us love one another, that with one mind we may confess. Mm-hmm. Father, Father Son, Lord, and Holy Spirit, Trinity, one in essence, 
and undivided. The doors, the doors, guard the doors. In wisdom, let us be attentive. I believe in one God, Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten, not created, of one essence with the Father, through whom all things are made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became man. He was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate and suffered and was buried, and he rose on the third day, according to the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come again with glory to judge the living and the dead. His kingdom shall have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the creator of life, who proceeds from the Father, who together with the Father and the Son is worshiped and glorified, who spoke through the prophets in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come. Amen. Let us stand well, let us stand in awe. Let us be attentive that we may present the holy offering in peace. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God the Father and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all and with your spirit. Let us lift up our hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord. It is proper and right. Singing the victory hymn, proclaiming, crying out, and saying, Holy, 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 Lord of Sabaoth. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord, O Son in the highest. So he became the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep with the firstborn of the dead, that he might be himself the first in all things. Ascending into heaven, he sat at the right hand of your majesty on high, and he will come to render to each according to his works. As memorials of his saving passion, he has left us these gifts, which we have set forth before you, ascending to his commands. For when he was about to go forth, to his voluntary, ever memorable, and life-giving death on the night on which he was delivered up for our life, the world he took bread in his holy, pure hands presenting it to you, God and Father, and offering thanks, blessing, sanctifying, and breaking. He gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Take it, this is my body, which is broken for you for the forgiveness of sins. Likewise, he took the cup of the fruit of the vine, and having mingled it, offering thanks, blessing, and sanctifying it, he gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Drink of this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Amen. Please kneel at this time if you're able to. Lord have mercy on me, the sinner. Say amen. Lord have mercy on me, the sinner. Say amen. Lord have mercy on me, the sinner. Say amen. Do this in remembrance of me, for as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim my death and you confess my resurrection. 
Therefore, Master, we also, remembering his saving passion and life-giving cross, his three-day burial and resurrection from the dead, his ascension into heaven and enthronement at your right hand, God and Father, and his glorious and awesome second coming. We offer to you these gifts from your own gifts in all and for all the sight on soul. Si prospero men gada banda ke via banda. Therefore, most holy master, we also, your sinful and unworthy servants, whom you have made worthy to serve at your holy altar, not because of our own righteousness, for we have done nothing good upon this earth, but because of your rich mercy and compassion, which you have so richly poured upon us, we dare to approach your holy altar and bring forth the symbols of the holy body and blood of your Christ. We pray to you and call upon you, O holy of holies, that by the favor of your goodness, your Holy Spirit may come upon us and upon the gifts here presented to bless, sanctify, and make this bread to be the precious body of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ, and this cup to be the precious blood of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ. Shed for the life and salvation of the world. Amen. And unite us to all. We to one another, a group of partakers of the one bread and the cup and the communion of the Holy Spirit. Grant that none of us may partake of the holy body and blood of your Christ, the judgment and condemnation, but that we may find mercy and grace with all the saints who have pleased you through the ages. Forefathers, fathers, patriarchs, prophets, apostles, preachers, evangelists, martyrs, confessors, teachers, and every righteous spirit made perfect in the faith. Especially for our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary. In you, O Lady, full of grace, all creation rejoices, the host of angels and the human race. O consecrated temple and allegorical paradise, virgins boast of you, for God became incarnate from you, yes, our eternally existing God became a child from you. He made a throne of your womb, and he made your body wider than the heavens. In you, O Lady, full of grace, all creation rejoices. Glory to you. Remember, Lord, the people here presented and those who are absent with good cause. Have mercy on them and on us according to the multitude of your great mercy. Fill their treasuries with every good thing. Preserve their marriages in peace and harmony. Nurture the infants, instruct the youth, strengthen the aged. Give courage to the faint-hearted. Reunite those separated. Bring back those in error and unite them to your holy Catholic and apostolic church. Free those who are held captive by unclean spirits and sail with those who sail. Travel with those who travel. Defend the widows, protect the orphans, liberate the captives, heal the sick. Remember, Lord, those who are in mines and exile and harsh labor, and those in every kind of affliction, necessity, or distress, those who entreat your loving kindness, those who love us and those who hate us, those who have asked us to pray for them, unworthy though we may be. Remember, Lord our God, all your people, and pour out your rich mercy upon them, granting them their petitions for salvation. Remember, O God, all those who have not been remembered through our ignorance, forgetfulness, or because of their multitude, since you know the name and age of each, even from their mother's womb. For you, Lord, are the helper of the helpless, the hope of the hopeless, the savior of the afflicted, the haven of the voyager, the physician of the sick. Be all things to all you who know each person, his requests, his household, and his need. Deliver this community and this city, O Lord, and every city and town from famine, plague, earthquake, flood, fire, sword, invasion of foreign enemies, pandemic, and civil war. Above all, remember, O Lord, our Archbishop Gerasimus. Grant that he may serve your holy churches in peace, Keep him safe, honorable, and healthy for many years. 
rightly teaching the word of your truth. Remember also, Lord, those whom each of us calls prayerfully to mind. And all your people. And all your people. Visit us with your goodness, Lord. Manifest yourself to us, and through your rich compassion, grant us seasonable weather and fruitful seasons. Send gentle showers upon the earth so that it may bear fruit. Bless the crown of the year of your goodness. Prevent schism in the church. Pacify the raging of the heathen. Quickly stop the upraisings of heresies, and by the power of your Holy Spirit, receive us all into your holy kingdom. Declare us to be sons and daughters of the light and of the day. Grant us your peace and love, Lord our God, for you have given all things to us. And grant that with one voice and one heart, we may glorify and praise your most honored and majestic name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. The mercy of our great God and Savior Jesus Christ be with all. Having remembered all the saints, let us again in peace pray to the Lord. For the precious gifts offered and consecrated, let us pray to the Lord. That our loving God, who has received them at his holy, heavenly, and spiritual altars, an offering of spiritual fragrance, may in return send upon us divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Having prayed for the unity of the faith and for the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. Our God, the God who saves and teaches us. You teach us justly to thank you for the good things which you have done and still do for us. You are our God who has accepted these gifts. Cleanse us from every defilement of flesh and spirit and teach us how to live in holiness by your fear so that receiving the portion of your holy gifts with a clear conscience, we may be united with the holy body and blood of your Christ. Having received them worthily, may we have Christ dwelling in our hearts, and may we become the temple of your Holy Spirit. Yes, Lord, let none of us be guilty before these, your awesome and heavenly mysteries, nor be infirm in body and soul by partaking of them unworthily, but enable us, even up to our last breath, to receive a portion of your holy gifts worthily as provisions for eternal life and as an acceptable defense of the awesome judgment seat of your Christ so that we also, together with all the saints who through the ages have pleased you, may become partakers of your eternal good things, which you, Lord, have prepared for those who love you. And make us worthy, Master, with confidence, without fear of condemnation, to dare call you the heavenly God, Father, and to say... Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Pater imon, o entis uranis, aigesito to nomasu, el seto i vasileesu, genicito to thelimasu, os en urano que pitis is, donarto nimon to nepiusion, dos simin simeron, que afe simin to filimata imon, os que imis a fiemen tis ofileti simon. Que mi senenki si mas ispiras mon, alarisa y mas apotoniru. Oti suest ni vasilia geden mis ke doxat patros ke tu iu ke tu iu nev matos nin ke aim geis tu se onas to ne ono. Amin. Iri ni pasi. Let us bow our heads to the Lord. Lord, Master, the Father of mercies, God of every consolation, bless, sanctify, guard, fortify, and strengthen those who have bowed their heads to you. Distance them from every evil deed, lead them to every good work, and make them worthy to partake without condemnation of these, your most pure and life-giving mysteries, for the forgiveness of sins and for the communion of the Holy Spirit. By the grace, mercy, and love for us of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all holy, good, and life-giving spirits, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, our God, hear from your holy dwelling place in the glorious throne of your kingdom. You are enthroned on high with the Father and are also invisibly present among us. Come and sanctify us. Let your pure body and precious blood be given to us by your mighty hand and through us to all your people. Let us be attentive. Pros comment. The holy gifts 
for the holy people of God, the Lamb of God is broken, distributed. Broken but not divided, it's very eaten, yet is never consumed, but he sanctifies those who partake of him. Jesus Christ, God, Jesus Christ conquers all. The fullness of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The warmth of the Holy Spirit. I believe and confess, Lord, that you are truly the Christ, the Son of the living God, who came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am the first. I also believe that this is truly your pure body and that this is truly your precious blood. Therefore, I pray to you, have mercy upon me, forgive my transgressions, voluntary and involuntary, in word and deed, known and unknown, and make me worthy without condemnation to partake of your pure mysteries for the forgiveness of sins and for life eternal. Amen. How shall I, who am unworthy, enter into the splendor of your saints? If I dare to enter into the bridal chamber, my clothing will accuse me, since it is not a wedding garment. And being bound up, I shall be cast out by the angels. In your love, O Lord, cleanse my soul and save me. Loving Master, Lord Jesus Christ, my God, let not these holy gifts be to my condemnation because of my unworthiness. For the cleansing and sanctification of soul and body and the pledge of the future life and kingdom, it is good for me to cling to God and to place in him the hope of my salvation. Receive me today, Son of God, as a partaker of your mystical supper. I will not reveal your mystery to your adversaries, nor will I give you a kiss as did Judas. But as the thief, I confess to you, Lord, remember me in your kingdom. Behold, the night, first was born of God. First was born of God. Second was born of God. Third was born of God. Fourth was born of God. Fifth was born of God. Sixth was born of God. Seventh was born of God. Eighth was born of God. Ninth was born of God. Metaphor with you, peace, Deus, ki agapis, proselthete, with the fear of God, with faith and love, draw near. Yeah. 
Save, O Lord, your people, and bless your inheritance. Innocence being God, most compassionate Master, you assumed human nature without transmutation, fulfilling the law of your own will. You accepted circumcision in the flesh, to bring an end to the shadow and to remove the passions that cover us. Glory to your benevolence, O Lord. Glory to your compassion. Glory to your inexpressible condescension, O Word. Always, now, and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Let us be attentive, having partaken of the divine, holy, pure, immortal, heavenly life, keeping in awesome mysteries of Christ. Let us worthily give thanks to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Having prayed for a perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless day, let us commit ourselves and one another and in our whole life to Christ our God. To you, o Lord. 
We thank you, Lord our God, for the communion of your holy, most pure, immortal, heavenly mysteries, which you have granted us for the benefit, sanctification, and healing of our souls and bodies. Grant, Master of all, that the communion of the holy body and blood of your Christ may become for us faith unshamed, love unfeigned, fullness of wisdom, healing of soul and body, repelling every hostile adversary, observance of your commandments, and an acceptable defense of the dread judgment seat of your Christ. For you are our sanctification, and to you we give glory to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Let us depart in peace. Let us pray to the Lord. In Hason. Lord, bless those. O Christ our God, accept from those who call upon your name with all their heart that the spiritual sacrifice without the shedding of blood as a sacrifice of praise and true worship. You are the Lamb and Son of God who bears the sins of the world, the blameless calf who does not accept the yoke of sin and who freely sacrificed yourself for us. You are broken but not divided. You are consumed but never spent. You sanctify those who partake of you. In remembrance of your voluntary passion and life-giving resurrection on the third day, you have made us partakers of your ineffable and heavenly and awesome mysteries of your holy body and precious blood. Preserve us, your servants, those who minister, our leaders, the armed forces, and the people present here in your holiness. Grant that we may meditate upon your righteousness at all times and every season. Guide us in our actions so that we may do what is pleasing to you and, may find, and you may find us worthy to stand at your right hand when you return to judge the living and the dead. Deliver our brothers and sisters who are in captivity. Visit those who are sick. Protect those who are in danger. Give rest to those souls of all those who have fallen asleep in the hope of the eternal life where the light of your face shines. Hear the petitions of all those who beseech you for your help. For you are the giver of all good things, and to you we give glory together with your eternal Father, your all holy, good, and life-giving spirits, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. The mystery of the sensation of Christ. Amen. <laughs> Blessed be the name of the Lord from this time forth into the ages. Let us pray to the Lord. May the blessing of the Lord and his mercy come upon you through his divine grace and love, always, now, and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to you, O God, our hope. Glory to you. May Christ, our true God, who was circumcised in the flesh as a good, loving, and merciful God, have mercy upon us and save us through the intercessions of his most pure and holy mother, the power of the precious and life-giving cross, the protection of the honorable, bodiless powers of heaven, the supplications of the honorable, glorious prophet and forerunner John the Baptist, mm. the holy, glorious, and praiseworthy apostles, the holy, glorious, and triumphant martyrs, our holy and God-bearing fathers, the holy, righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, of St. Basil the Great, whose memory we commemorate today, and of all the saints. At this time, we'll pray the prayer of <clears throat> the prayer of the Artoclasia, so graciously offered by the family of Bill and Sofia Varnava. Yeah, please. Leis ni mas teos kato mega leos uda metaso pa kuson ge leison kiri leison kiri leison kiri leison. Again, we pray for orth our faithful and Orthodox Christians. Kyrie eleison. 
Again, we pray for Archbishop Gidas Mosen for all our brothers and sisters in Christ. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, visitation, forgiveness, remission of the sins of the servants of God the members, trustees, supporters, and benefactors of this holy church, and for the servants of God, Vasilios, Jacob, Andrew, Nikolaos, Roy, Sophie, Andrew, Kit, Alex, Anna, George, Mary, Alex, Anne, Marie, Leticia, Josh, Paloma, Lucia, Bob, Diane, Susan, Evan, Dean, Harris, Nathan, Kiveli, Brandon, Daniela, Luca, Carolina, Frango, Mary and Joe, and your handmaiden Sophia, who celebrate this holy feast. <laughs> Again, we pray for the protection of this holy church in this city, every city and land from wrath, famine, pestilence, earthquake, flood, fire, sword, foreign invasion, civil strife, and accidental death, that our good and loving God may be merciful, gracious, and favorable to us by you turning and keeping us from all wrath and sickness and deliver us from his just rebuke and have mercy on us. Again, we pray that the Lord our God will hear the prayer of us sinners and have mercy on us. Hear us, O God, our Savior, the hope of all those who live everywhere on the earth and those far out upon the sea. Be gracious towards our sins, O Master, and have mercy on us. For you are a merciful and loving God, and to you we give glory to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Peace be with all. And with your spirit. Let us bow our heads to the Lord. To you, Most merciful Lord. Master, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, through the intercession of the most pure lady, the Theodokos, never Virgin Mary, the power of the precious and life-giving cross, the protection of the honorable bodiless powers of heaven, the supplications of the honorable glorious prophet and forerunner John the Baptist, the holy glories and praise where the apostles are fathers among the saints, the great hierarchs and ecumenical teachers, Basil the Great, whose memory we commemorate today, Gregory the Theologian, John Chrysostom, Athanasius, Cyril, and John the Merciful, Patriarchs of Alexandria, Nicholas, Bishop of Mira and Lycia, Spiridon, Bishop of Trimithus, the Wonder Workers, the holy glorious great martyrs, George the Victorious, Dimitrios, the Meat of Lead, Theodore, Teron, Theodore, Stratilatis, Minas, the Wonder Worker, Haralambos and Lefterios, the holy higher martyrs, our venerable and God-bearing fathers, the holy righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all your saints, accept our prayer. Grant us forgiveness of our transgressions. Amen. Protect us under the shelter of your wings. Amen. Drive away from us every enemy and adversary. Amen. Grant peace to our life. Lord, have mercy on us on your world and save our souls as a good and loving God. Amen. Mm -hmm. God. 
Σαρπος τη σκύλια σου ότι σωτήρα εκένες τον ψυχόν Let us pray to the Lord. Lord Jesus Christ, our God, you blessed the five loaves in the wilderness, and from them 5,000 men were filled. Bless now these loaves and multiply them in this holy church, this city, in the homes of those who celebrate today and in your whole world, and sanctify your faithful servants who will partake of them. For you are he who blesses and sanctifies all things, and to you we give glory to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Lucy epto hev san ke pinasan i the exidun des ton kirion u ke la to thison de pandos agathu. Lucy epto hev san ke pinasan i the exidun des ton kirion Rich have gone poor and hungry, but those who eagerly seek the Lord never shall have want of any good thing. <clears throat> Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy upon us and save us. Amen. May the Holy Trinity keep and protect all of you. God bless you. Thank you for being here. Happy New Year. Please be seated. I've asked Marcelo to give the sermon this morning, but after a few announcements and after the acolytes come back and get the bread to cut that up for your consumption. Thank you so much for being here this morning. It's a beautiful day. It's the first day of the year, and may God bless everything that we do and multiply our efforts. It's a huge blessing to be together for divine liturgy and to celebrate the liturgy of St. Basil the Great. You may have noticed that some of the prayers were different, and this now too um, is a great opportunity for us to realize the great blessings that our Lord has given us. Marcelo, God bless you, and thank you for offering us the word. Thank you. Good morning. Today is the eighth day since Christmas. 25th, 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th, 30th, 31st. Eighth day is the first day of the year. The eighth day of... Uh, since Christmas, and the Jewish culture through the commandments of God in the Old Testament, boys were circumcised on the eighth day for a number of reasons. Those numbers have significance. The seven days of creation, the seventh day of week being the completion, and then the first day of the week, which is the eighth day, is the new beginning. So the circumcision was, among other things, a new beginning for, uh, for the people of Israel as exemplified in the boys. So the Holy Family would travel, did travel from where they lived in the area of Capernaum and Nazareth, which is way in the north. And they would take several days to walk and eventually go up the mountain to reach Jerusalem. And they would go with the people from the town. Every city would have a synagogue, like a church, that you would go on the Sabbath. But there was a temple in Jerusalem, and once a year, all Jewish people were required to go to the temple to offer a sacrifice in the Day of Atonement, once a year. So everybody would travel to Jerusalem. So the Lord Jesus, as a boy, when he was 12 years old, is traveling with his family and neighbors and cousins, and everybody would travel a day and then set up the tents and then sleep and then continue. Eventually, they got to Jerusalem. There, they offered the sacrifices, and it says that Jesus was 12 and that he was going in strength and wisdom. And so the Holy Family, after the sacrifices, they leave. 
and they go down the hill. They probably reach the area of Jericho at the end of the day, and everybody's traveling together. The kids are playing, but now it's time to go to bed. Where is little Jesus? We don't know. Did you see him? No, I thought he was with you. No, I thought he was with you. His name is Jesus, by the way. He was named when he was circumcised. And Jesus is, of course, a translation of his name, like Jesus in, in Greek, like Jesus in Spanish, Jesus is in Portuguese. The significance is in the meaning of the name. He would have been called by his parents Joshua, Yeshua, which means God saves. He is the God, the Son of God who saves us. So they reach, after one day traveling, they can't find God saves. They cannot find little Joshua. So as everybody else continues to go back up to Capernaum and Nazareth, the Holy Family, Panagia goes back, all the way back, and they spent three days, a significance on the third day he appears, he spent three days, they spent three days looking for little Joshua. When they found, find him, he is at the temple, a 12-year-old boy, and all the rabbis, and all the, the equivalents of our bishops and archbishops, sitting there with this 12-year-old boy, and he was teaching them. And they were amazed because he's God incarnate. And so Panagia said, why did you do this, my son? And he says, don't you know I have to be in the house of my father? But he submitted to them and he went with them and was obedient to them. And he went all the way back home. That was the beginning. It's the only scene, the only story that we have about the Lord before the beginning of his ministry when he was 30 years old as a 12-year-old boy. Let us be conscious that the first day of the year is indeed, even from God's perspective, through the circumcision of our Lord that we celebrate, a new beginning. God gives us a new beginning every morning, but he also gives us special new beginnings in which he calls us to be circumcised in our hearts. What does it mean to be circumcised in our hearts? It's to cut off the things that should not be in our hearts so that we can be in the temple of God, so that we can begin again and ask the Lord for help. The Lord Jesus was growing in strength and wisdom. And even though he was God incarnate, he is God incarnate, he had humility because he submitted himself to his parents. Strength, wisdom, humility. Let us begin again this new year asking God to give us strength, wisdom, and humility. Amen. Thank you, Marcelo. Have a wonderful new year. I do have to say I'm thrilled to see so many people from uh, my old place. It's great to see you here from Camarillo, from Burbank, Camarillo, all of you, thank you for coming so far and being part of this. And for those of you who may have come from far that I don't know of, God bless you and watch over you and be with you always. Amen. Have a wonderful, wonderful year. Uh, the Art of Classia will go in the back and the Andidon will be distributed up here. Have a great week. <laughs>